classification, types, and regions in routes. The route is generally underground and positively geopositive and develops from the radical of the seeds. This route is called the primary route. Any route that develops from this primary route is called the secondary route. The tertiary route develops from the secondary roots. Region of root Root cap, a cup-shaped mass of cells that protects the root tip. Produces mucilage, which helps the root move through the soil sloughed off as the root grows deeper, creating a slimy surface that lubricates the root. Region of Cell Division It contains multicellular meristematic cells that are constantly dividing. Produces new root cells that elongate, aquatic and parasitic plants lack a root cap. Region of elongation. Cells stretch and lengthen as they fill with water. Allows roots to develop longitudinally. Region of maturation. Also known as the piliferous region. Forms root hairs, endodermis, and cortex. Cells differentiate into primary body tissues. Root hairs. Enhance the absorptive surface of the roots. Absorb water and mineral nutrients from the soil. Type of roots. There are three main types of roots as follows. One tap root system. It develops directly from the radical and grows vertically downwards. Point only one main root that grows from the end of the stem. Every tree starts with a tap root over time. Other roots outgrow the tap root. Found in most dicotyledons. A tree with a destroyed primary root isn't able to grow in areas without the use of irrigation. Bananas, onions, and garlic do not have tap roots. They have fibrous roots. The radish plant has a modified tap root. Because the taproot penetrates so deeply into the soil, digging and lifting a taproot plant can be difficult. Another difficulty is dividing taprooted plants. Fibrous Roots A fibrous root is a collection of short, thread-like divisions growing from the stem. The increased surface area facilitates the absorption of water and mineral ions. Fibrous roots are horizontal and widespreading, with only a few deep vertically downward roots. Fibrous roots are bushy roots seen mostly in monocotyledons like rice and wheat. They will not penetrate the soil deeply, making it harder for the plant to access water during dry weather, so it needs regular watering. Fibrous roots don't provide as much stability as tap roots, which can be a problem for taller plants. 3. Adventitious Roots Adventitious roots arise from parts of the plant other than the radical, plant roots that grow from non-root tissues, such as stems, leaves, or underground structures. It can be both underground and above ground. They are produced both during normal development, crown roots on cereals and nodal roots on strawberries and in stress conditions, such as flooding, nutrient deprivation, and wounding are examples of it. Adventitious roots typically grow above or near the surface and need sunlight and moist conditions. The plants with this particular type of root system will have primary roots too.